This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, January 23rd, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Sandals Barbados is closer to finalizing an expansion plan that's expected to create jobs for at least 100 people. General Manager Joseph Zellner tells Barbados Today the plan will be completed in a couple of weeks. He says the architects and others involved in the project have been meeting to have a full Sandals product here by the end of the year. Sandals Barbados currently employs about 350 people, but Zellner says that figure will increase to as much as 480 once all the facilities are built and all the services put in place. It will be just a matter of weeks now before the long-awaited drug treatment court is established. That's the word from former manager of the National Council on Substance Abuse, Yolande Ford, who was involved in setting up the court. She says the NCSA made significant gains in the drug fight under her leadership over the past three years. During my tenure, I was able to to, to situate that NCSA had its, its first ever strategic plan, uh, which will guide the, the organization over the next four years. Um, I also would have um, initiated the process for the development of the Barbados Anti-Drug Plan, uh, which is a, a comprehensive roadmap, um, which will guide the programs, activities, and, and, acti and, and uh, projects of the various uh, organizations, agencies, and departments within the drug control sector. Um, I also, as you know, spearheaded um, the laying of the groundwork for the establishment of the Drug Treatment Court, uh, which is slated to be, to be established in Barbados in a matter of weeks. A local soccer player suffering from a rare blood disorder is in need of urgent financial assistance and blood donations to stay alive. 16-year-old Joshua Sobers Henry is said to be deteriorating fast as he remains at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital awaiting treatment in Washington. Joshua is a college and Paris student who plays for his school team as well as for the St. Lucie constituency soccer team. He's also a member of the Barbados Soccer Academy's under-17 team. He was diagnosed with aplastic anemia late last year. His mother, Caroline Sobers Keat, tells Barbados today that he needs to get stem cell treatment that will require him to be in the U.S. for six months in the first instance, but he'll have to go back for checkups. She says he's not doing well right now. If you get a cut, he will bleed out. He has no platelets to cut with the blood. So don't be careful, you don't get any bruises or any cuts and stuff like that. Um, his immune system is it really low right now. So he's susceptible to the um, infections and I think so. Blood can be given at the National Blood Collecting Centre at Lady Mead Gardens, while monetary contributions can be made at the City of Bridgetown Credit Union. In sports, a former West Indies player says he believes the Caribbean side can find its way back to the top of world cricket. Kurt Lee Ambrose says there's enough talent in the region to get us there, but there's still a lot missing. I don't think the guys are playing with enough passion. They don't quite understand what cricket means to Caribbean people. And until they understand it, they probably won't get any better. So I believe that the West Indies Cricket Board probably need to get some of the past greats who knows what it takes to be successful, to come and talk to these players on a regular basis, try to educate them about West Indies cricket, and then maybe we'll start to see some improvement. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. All trade-ins are welcomed. 
The Business Minute, every Tuesday and Thursday on this platform. Informative, up to the minute, up to date news you can trust every time. In regional news now, the Civil Aviation Authority in Guyana is turning to foreign aviation experts as it continues an investigation into last Saturday's plane crash. That crash left Canadian pilots Blake Slater and Guyanese cargo handler Dwayne Jacobs dead. And Minister of Transport Robson Ben says there will be changes for local aircraft operations. One of the um, issues arising out of some recent incidents is the question of whether in fact the issues in relation to the loading of planes, their practices, whether they're following the standards as prescribed always, uh, sometimes the activity with respect to shuttle operations are not in the uh, not in the course itself, but out in the interior. Um, we will be requiring ad hoc inspections in the operational areas and also at Ogl itself. Internationally now, Israel has broken up an Al-Qaeda terrorist cell that planned a coordinated attack that included bombing the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv. Israeli authorities say three men, two from Jerusalem and one from the West Bank, have been arrested in connection with the plot. The plot involved a double suicide bombing targeting the U.S. Embassy and the Jerusalem Convention Center. That's the 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. Until then, you can log on to www.wherewithistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for saving. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Thursday, January 23rd, 2014. I'm Vic Fernandes. First Citizens Bank remains confident in its Barbados operations, despite the challenges it's facing here. That's the assurance from First Citizens Group Chief Executive Officer Larry Nath. He says the bank is going forward with its plans for the business here because, as he puts it, it's not a matter of if, but when the Barbados economy recovers. We intend some wonderful growth and expansion plans for Barbados. Our focus will be on risk management, operational efficiency, and customer satisfaction. We are looking to improve our branch network and deploy new ATMs and new technology. Who says you shouldn't mix business with pleasure? Well, a Barbadian-born businessman living in Switzerland not only plans to do just that, but to make money doing it. Peter Herewood has his eyes set on investing in the sport of golf back home. The owner of PA Golf says by next year, he intends to open up some boutique shops across the island, specializing in golf wear and equipment to help Barbados' economy benefit from the increasingly popular sport. And now for today's financial tip. This one is for young workers. Just as you headed off to school with your parents' hope to prepare you for success in a world that seemed eons away, you need to prepare your retirement well in advance. Because of the way compound interest works, the sooner you start saving, the less principal you'll have to invest to end up with the amount you need to retire. That's been the Barbados Today Business Minute. Join us again next Tuesday. Until then... You can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Vic Fernandes. The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set with Signia to be sure The world will be yours Take you to exceptional Incredible new heights And get set with Signia 
Insignia, quality solutions for your financial needs.